So, different GA encoding scheme follow the different pattern of chromosome. The binary coded GA follow the binary patterns, the real coded GA follow the real values of the gene values and depending on the patterns that it is followed in binary coded GA. So, the binary crossover techniques were used, we have learned about the binary crossover techniques. Now, real value coded GA again it is totally different than the binary cross, uh, crossover techniques because it, it needs the several uh, di, di, totally different uh, what is your treatment. Now, we are going to discuss another uh, GA technique it is called the order uh, GA and the crossover technique that is there in the order coded GA. Now, again uh, the order coded GA as we know it is basically based on the concept of the sequence of the values that is there in the GA. So, the sequence is important as the sequence is important uh, for example, the traveling salesman problem if we follow that all the values that is there in the chromosome should not be repeated and they should follow certain sequence actually. Now, this means that if we follow the binary crossover techniques obviously, these are the basically in terms of symbols. So, no real values are involved. So, that is why uh, we cannot apply the real coded GA. However, the binary coded GA also cannot be uh, the crossover technique that is used in binary coded GA also cannot be applied here. This is an example because how the binary coded G, uh, the crossover technique that is followed there in binary coded GA cannot be applied here. Now, if you consider say binary crossover technique namely the single point crossover technique we can recall that we have to generate a k point there. So, if this is the k point then basically the swapping these two. So, it is swapping these two right swapping these two we will get this one and then then swapping this one also we will get this one. So, it is basically from uh, from these two parent chromosome using the binary single point crossover we will get it, but you can note that this this parent chromosome is not a feasible chromosome or not an acceptable chromosome because A it is common here B, B is copied here and all the chromosome that is not also possible present here. So, this is not a valid chromosome or this is also similarly not a valid chromosome. That means, the simple single point crossover technique that is used there in binary crossover it is not applicable to the uh, order GA in fact. So, this means that order GA needs a different treatment so far the crossover operation is concerned. So, we will discuss about the different crossover technique that is followed in case of order coded GA. We have listed few important techniques, five important techniques are there. It is one is called the single point order crossover, then second is two point order crossover, then precedence preservation crossover it is called the PPX, then position based crossover and then age recombination crossover all these crossover techniques we will discuss one by one in the next uh, subsequent slides. Now, we, in order to discuss the different techniques that we have mentioned in the last uh, slides, we will follow certain assumption for all the techniques to discuss. The first is that we will consider that the length of the chromosome be denoted as um, L. L, L is an assumption that the length of the chromosome this one. P1 and P2 are the two parents which are selected at random from the mating pool and C1 and C2 denotes the two children which we want to derive from the P1 and P2 by virtue of their crossover techniques followed there. So, these are the assumption under this assumption we will be able to discuss each technique one by one. Let us first start with single point crossover technique in order G A. Now, Okay, so, if L be the length of the chromosome and P1 and P2 are the two chromosomes, then in this technique the first task is to generate one number uh, that number should be in between 1 and L and that let this number be k. So, it is basically the same as single point crossover is a kinetochore point like. So, k point is to be decided first once the k point is decided this k point is decided then it is next point next task is we have to copy ok. So, k point is a kinetochore point that is the point uh, that can define the two parts in both parents. So, left part and right part or you can say left schema and then right schema. Then the second step copy the left schema of P 1 into the children C 1, C 1 is initially empty and then left schema of P 2 into C 2 
and then for the schema in the right side of C1 copy the gene value from P2 in the same order as they appear, but not ex already present in the left schema. So, we, if we repeat the same procedure to compute C2 from P1 then you will produce the two children solution. So, this is the technique or scheme that is there we have to follow it. Now, let us see uh, how these techniques are there as an uh, illustration so that we can understand uh, this technique better. So, we assume these are the two solution uh, parents P1 and P2 and then a random k point is decided this is the k point from where the left schema and right schema. So, this part is the left schema and this is the right schema for the parent P1. Similarly, this is the left schema for the parent P2 and the right schema for the parent P2. Now, according to this technique, so idea is that we will copy the left schema from P1 to C1. So, it is basically copy, this part is copied to this one and for the rest of the part we will copy from the P2 from the P2, but provided that 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 value is already not present in the left part. For example, if we see E, E is already present there, so E cannot be copied and then D is also present here, D cannot be copied, C is also present here, C cannot be copied, then J is not present here, so J is copied here. Then I, I is not present so far, so I is there, H is there, now B, B is also not there, so B is copied here, A is already there, so A cannot be copied then f is not copied the f is copied and finally g is copied so this way uh, from the parent p1 and p2 and based on the kind of word, the solution c1 can be obtained now similarly the c2 can be obtained in this case this left schema will be copied to this one and then for the rest of the schema we have to copy it from here right and provided that this is not copied already. For example, A, A is not in this, so A will be selected and C is there, C cannot be copied, D is there, so D cannot be copied, E is here, so E cannot be copied, so then B, B can be copied here, so B can be copied here and then F is not copied, F is copied there, G is copied there, H is there, not copied, so I is there and uh, so J is there. Uh, J is already there, so J cannot be copied and I is there this way. So, this way uh, the two chromosomes solution can be obtained and this is a simple technique that is called the single point crossover technique in case of order G. Now, we will discuss about another little bit uh, more, uh, more what is called the uh, uh, diversified technique we can say and uh, it is called the two point crossover technique. So, the difference it is basically by its name in case of single point we have to consider only one k point, but in case of two point crossover we have to consider two points, two k points rather. So, so it is just procedure of two I mean deciding instead of one k values we have to decide two k values and these two k values are denoted k 1 and k 2 the two values are the same as it is in case of the previous one scheme that means the values of the k values should be in between 1 and L. So, once we decide these two k values then the scheme basically says that the middle of P1 and P2 are copied into C1 and C2. So, initially C1 and C2 are empty. So, on the middle part from P1 is copied into middle part of the C1 based on these values K1 and K2. Similarly, middle part of the P2 is copied into the C2 and then once this value is copied then we have to fill the remaining portions both in the left side as well as right side in both C1 and C2. So, it will follow the same procedure as in case of single point or crossover. So, so for the remaining point we have to compare in case of C1 we compare the gene values from the P2 and for C2 we will compare the gene values from P1 and fill it up. So, let us say one illustration to clear this idea. So, here we will consider two parent chromosome P1 and P2 and then two k points k1 and k2 are decided at random which is this one. So, in this idea the idea first is that this is the middle part is copied to the C1 first and for the rest of the part this one will copy from the parent P2 provided that it is already not there in the parent uh, in the uh, not there in uh, children C1. For example, so BFG is already copied then we will see that E should be selected and E is there D is also not covered. So, D is selected here C is selected here. J is also selected here, then BFG already there, 
then come here i. So, i needs to be selected here because i is not copy. Now, h, h is also not covered here. So, h will be copied here, b cannot be because already b there and then a, a is not copied here. So, a will be there and f and g already there. So, it is there. So, this way the children chromosome can be obtained. Now, similarly the C 2 can be obtained in this case C 2 will copy the I H B 2 here and for the rest of the part we will copy from here. So, I H B is there. So, A should be there then C should be there because C has not been copied so far and D is there D has been D has not been copied and E should be copied here I H B it is already there. Then the next part is B, B is not there because B is already here. So, B is ruled out and then F, F is copied here because F is not covered and J is copied here because J is not covered and then H, H is already there. So, H is not covered and then J, J is not covered. So, J is copied here and then I is there, I already can. So, this way. So, this way the children C 2 can be formed. So, this is the idea about uh, 2 point crossover it is little bit uh, different then because the single point crossover is pretty simple compared to the two point crossover, but it gives the better I mean diversity in the chromosome solution. So, it is more preferable than the single point crossover. However, this crossover a little bit costly operation than the uh, single point crossover. So, next we will discuss about uh, the precedence preservative uh, crossover techniques in order G A. Uh, so, we will discuss about the technique here. So, it basically okay, as it is in case of the earlier two crossover techniques in uh, order G A, we will follow the two parents P 1 and P 2 and we assume that length of the chromosome B L. Now, it basically consider one vector, vector with the two different values, values uh, they are called 1 and 2. So, a vector of same size of the chromosome length L. So, that is why create a vector V of length L and this is randomly that means one vector that can be created with its constituents either 1 or 2 and the length of the vector be L. So, this basically is called the, uh, the pivot one uh, it is just like a mask in case of um, binary crossover technique uh, half uniform uh, cover mass, uh, half uniform crossover technique that we have discussed in binary coded G actually. So, it is just like a mask like. Now, then the scheme that is followed in uh, PPX crossover it has like this we scan the vector V from left to right that means each time we will see whether the current uh, co component is 1 or 2. Now, let the current position in the vector be i that means I we are currently scanning. So, it will start from i equals to 1 to the maximum up to L and then j where j is basically 1 to L it is basically a pointer to the first uh, uh, chromosome P 1 and k is another pointer to P 1 it indicates that at what at what point uh, the uh, chromosome at what point of the P 1 and P 2 we are currently traversing. Then, then this technique uh, knowing this one. So, it basically follows the two uh, method if i s value is 1 that means currently the component that is there in vector v is 1 then it basically the idea is that. Uh, delete the j gene value from p 1 and as well as from p 2 that means, it is select the j gene and then remove this j gene from p 1 and p 2 not to be copied further and then append it uh, to the offspring which is initially epting. So, it is basically c 1 suppose we are considering the creation of children c 1. Now, if the i s value is not 1 that means, it is 2 then delete k gene that means, we will just uh, go to the p th chromosome and as well as from p 1 and append it to the offspring. So, it is basically whatever 1 and 2 it is basically we will delete from p 1 and p 2 and then copy it into the offspring actually. So, so we will repeat the two step until both p 1 and p 2 are empty and the offspring contains all the gene values. So, better if we can explain uh, the concept of this technique with an example. So, here the example. So, this is the vector V okay, with size same as the uh, parent P 1 and parent P 2 and we will see how the C 1 can be obtained. So, here the idea is that if P is 2 I mean if the current value is 2 
then we will copy from p 2 and if the current value 1 will copy from p 1. So, it is like this if 2 it is there. So, this is copied here is 1 is there. So, we will copy from this one. Now, when we will copy e. So, all e should be deleted both from p 1 and p 2. So, it is means copied there next when week 1. So, we will copy c and then c as it is already copied. So, c will be deleted from the p 2. Now, again 1. So, we will this one d will be copied and then this d will be um, removed from there. Then 2. So, if it is 2 then we will copy uh, this one from the parent p 2. So, this is copied here and j occurrence of j will be deleted from there. Now, 1. So, b is copied here and then b is deleted b is deleted from the parent p 2 1. So, f is copied here and then f is deleted from p 2 2. So, 2 g uh, so 2 means it will be g then g is basically here. So, g will be copied from the parent p 2 and then other g occurrence will be deleted from there. So, 2 h h will be copied from here and then uh, so 2 h h means um, h is here. So, h will be copied here and then all this h will be deleted from there. Now, so then we have to see the 1, 1 means we will copy from p 1. So, p 1 will be copied here uh, and then uh, so this a will be deleted. So, finally, i uh, so it is 2, 2 means the i is to be copied here and then all other will be removed here. So, this way the entire gene can be copied and then it will produce the offspring. Now, if we reverse the formula of policy that means, if it is 2 then copy from p 2 earlier if it is 2 copy from p 2 then p 1 if it is 1. Now, we reverse the policy that means, if it is 1 then copy from p 2 and if it is 2 then copy from p 1 and then we will follow the reverse one. So, the another uh, chromosome c 2 can be obtained. So, this is the precedence preservative uh, crossover techniques in case of order g a and it works like this. Now, another two technique is called the position based crossover technique. Uh, this technique it is a more generalized version of the uh, two point crossover technique in fact. So, here the idea is that choose n crossover points k 1, k 2 dot dot k n where n will be sufficiently large than l. So, this is the crossover technique usually followed if the length of the chromosome is too large. So, that we can decide a large number of k points in fact and then the idea is basically the gene values at k 1, k 2 and then k n position in p 1 are directly copied into the offspring c 1 keeping their position same that means, k 1 value from p 1 is copied to k 1 position in c 1 k 2 s values in p 1 is copied to k 2 position in c 1 and so on. So, this way it will be copied and then so it will get partially uh, filled some chromosome and then for the rest of the chromosome we have to take the confidence of p 2 we have to take the we have to copy the chromosome values from p 2 provided that they are already not there in c 1. So, if we follow the reverse that means, reverse of the previous procedure then it will give another chromosome c 2. So, let us explain uh, illustrate uh, this technique with an example. We will consider this is the p 1 and another chromosome p 2 and here we consider three uh, uh, points k points uh, these are called the k 1, k 2 and k 3. So, according the scheme the first scheme we will produce a c 1. So, this d 1 is copied here and then this b 1 is copied here and then this h 1 is copied here. Then for the rest of the chromosome we have to take it from the p 2 provided already the chromosome which is there should not be into there. Now, here so d b a so h so we will ex extract the values or copy from the p 2 except d b and h which are already there. So, E it is there. So, E is coming D it is there which is not there. So, D, uh, D is already there. So, D should not be here C it is there because C is not copied there J it is there because J has not been copied and then I A it is there 
so okay, I I it is there this I is coming here and then B already there so B cannot be copied and H cannot be copied because H is already there and A then A can be coming here and A P is not there so A P will be copied and G can be copied. So, this way the children chromosome C 1 can be obtained. Now, if we follow the reverse procedure if we follow reverse procedure in the sense that if we copy the K 1, K 2 and K 3 points into C 2 from P 2 then we will get another offspring for example, here uh, this C is here and this I is here and this A is here. Then for the rest of the part we will copy from there provided that all these things are not there. So, this way you can check it. So, these chromosomes uh, can be obtained. So, this is the parts uh, position based crossover technique uh, there. Then the last technique is called age recombination order crossover technique. Now, age recombination or question is a special case, it is bit computationally expensive, but very famous for the problem like traveling salesman problem. So, the crossover technique is used to solve the problem like traveling salesman as we told you and so and, and also the, 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 that kind of TSA problem, TSP problem where the cities are not well connected. So, usually it works better there and then it is also computationally very fast because the number of chromosomes is basically n factorial and for a large values of n that is really very difficult to find because it is a uh, computationally expensive operation to find the all possible order sequence that is there in uh, possible in the if the all cities are highly connected. Now, so in this technique basically we will follow one uh, lookup table it is called the edge table which basically contains the adjacency information. Uh, and then that advances is not necessarily a particular order in a random order. That means, if a city A, the city is A is connected to which are the cities say it is B, C, uh, D, E then they should be present in that E S table. So, then once that this E S table basically uh, provides the connectivity information in some different form. Now, as an illustration we can consider this problem like. So, here basically the idea is that uh, say suppose these are the two parents. Uh, P 1 and P 2 for 8 cities problem and so you can say that these are the order sequence that is there and this is another order sequence. Now, so we want to find one another children C 1 from this uh, to P 1 and P 2 like. So, so idea it is basically first we have to create the edge table and edge table for a given instance. So, this is the problem instance uh, this basically the showing the connectivity of uh, 8 different cities there and as we see that all cities are not uh, connected to all other cities in fact. So, there are connectivities like this. Now, we will see for this uh, city map uh, how we can produce the edge table. So, we will see that edge table. So, this basically shows the edge table for this city map and as you see for the city 1 we have the 3 uh, connections. 2, 3 and 4. So, we have written 2, 4, 3 and this order is not important if we say 2, 3, 4 that is also valid. So, the order is not important. Now, likewise for the city 2 as we see the connectivity as 1, 4, 6 and 7. So, it is like this. So, all the connectivities are uh, ported there in the edge table. So, basically idea is that once the city map is known to you. So, city map to known to you then we will easily obtain this edge table and then this edge table is used for the uh, generation of chromosome for the uh, of, uh, children. Now, let us see what is the procedure followed here the idea is that. So, initially the children chromosome uh, we denote it as a C 1 and initially we assume that it is empty that means, it is blank nothing is there. Then start the children uh, okay, start the tour with the ch for the children's tour with the starting city uh, of P 1 that means, it is same as P 1 and if we take the starting city of P 2 then another chromosome will be uh, obtained. So, let us start with the P 1 first as a parent. So, we will start the that means, both P 1 and C 1 have the same starting city it is called the starting city as same as the P 1. So, let us denote this city be x then we will add this city x to c that means, this is the first city for the children solution. 
then once the city x is selected delete all occurrences of x from the connectivity list of all cities that means as c the x is selected so x should be removed to not to be considered for the, for the others uh, for the next time so that uh, that x should be deleted from all the connectivity information there. From city x then for the city x choose the next city say y. So, from city x we can traverse into some other city which has the connectivity y right and which in which is in the so this is the one condition that city x to city that connectivity y and that also will select that y because many cities are possible who will select that y which in the list of minimum uh, uh, connectivities are there. Okay. So, it is like this and then uh, we will uh, copy this x to y and then we make x y and then repeat the same procedure till we will complete the entire tour for the city uh, for the solution chromosome C 1. Now, here is an example that I can tell it. So, suppose the starting city of P 1 is 1. So, we will start from 1 and then from 1 we see that so, 1 it is selected. So, this one will be removed, this one will be removed. So, this is removed because city 1 is selected. So, this is the initially city 1. Then the next city we have to select from city 1 we can go 2, 4, 3. Now, in case of 2 the connectivity is 3, in case of 4 it is again 3 connectivity are there, in case of 3 it is 4. So, we should select the minimum connectivity that means 3 in this case. So, we will select the next city as 3 and then as 3 is connected. So, we will remove this 3 from every occurrences in the connectivity matrix that means 3 has been covered. Then so, we are in the city 3 and from the city 3 we can go to 4 and then 5. So, city 4 and 5 if we go there 4 has the connectivity 2 and 6 whereas, 5 has the connectivity 7 and 8 both are same. So, we can take any orbitally any one. So, let it be 4. So, from 3 to 4 we can go to the city 4 and then 4 is covered. So, 4 will be removed, 4 will be removed, 4 will be removed and 4 will be removed. So, this way. Now, so 4 is covered then 4 from the city 4 we can go to either 2 or 6. So, we can go any one, but the thing is that 2 it is a seven, connectivity 7 and 6 and for 6 uh, 2 and uh, 8. So, we will go any one. So, from the 2 7 and 6. So, um, so, okay. so, 7 6 is 2 and 8 and 7. So, we can go to uh, okay. from 4 actually 2 and 6. So, 2 has the connectivity 7, 6 and 6 has the connectivity 2 and 8. So, we can go any one let it be uh, move to 2 right. So, 6 1. So, 4 to 6. So, 6 is connected and then when 6 is connected it will remove the 6 from every occurrence it is there. From the 6 we can go move to 2 or 8. So, 2 has the only uh, 7 and then 8 has 2. So, we can go to 2. So, we can go to 2, 2 from 4 to 6 and then 2 will be removed from here and there. Okay. So, from 2 we can go to the 7 finally. So, 7 is there, 7 has this 5 and 8. So, it is 7, 7 and 5 and 8 out of this 5 and 8. 7 is deleted. So, 5 and 8 it is there we can go any one. So, it is any one may be 5 say 5 and finally, so 5 is deleted and finally, 5 to 8. So, the 8 is there. So, this basically gives the children chromosome according to the uh, age combination technique. So, this way you can follow it. Now, as we see that so total tour is com uh, completed right and covering all cities there. So, this is basically the idea. Now, here we have started with the starting point of city P 1. Now, if we follow the starting point of city which is P 2 let it be say 4 then definitely it will it will produce the different uh, one chromosome. So, that will be considered as C 2. So, this way so P 1 and P 2 chromosome influence uh, to obtain the two children solution C 1 and C 2 according to the age recombination technique. So, we have learned the different uh, crossover techniques related to the different kind of uh, G A encoding scheme binary coded G A then real coded G A and ordered G A mainly these are the three different G A techniques are very popular. So, we have learned all the crossover techniques and what I want to say is that crossover techniques is the most uh, 
uh, important and the significant operations out of all GA operations are there like encoding then selection right. This is because the crossover we have to follow from the n p number of mating pools to create so many chromosomes that means it is uh, to be computed maximum. Therefore, while we are choosing the crossover technique we have to choose that which takes the minimum time to compute because the overall efficiency of the GA techniques depends on how fast we can accomplish the crossover operations. So, this way crossover operations are very vital one operations in case of GA uh, algorithm and we have discussed the different operation techniques so far. Our next portion is basically the mutation we will discuss in the next uh, class. Thank you.